Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix DBC watchdog violation on Windows 11 and Windows 10. The DBC watchdog violation error is known as a blue screen error. Basically, this can occur when the bug checker, I mean your PC's watchdog, monitors an unresponsive program. If you see an error message, DBC watchdog violation, then it indicates that number 1. Related to outdated device driver stop responding. Corrupted device driver or faulty driver code that does not complete its work within allotted time frame. Number 2. Confirm that any new hardware that is installed is compatible with installed version of Windows. Because most commonly this can occur when newly installed hardware is not compatible with your operating system. Number 3. Due to application or software conflicts. Number 4. Due to outdated firmware version of your SSD. And number 5. When the system files are corrupted or missing. However, don't worry, here I'll show you some proper fixes that can surely help to fix stop code, DPC watchdog violation, BSOD error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So let's get started. If the IDE, ATA or ATAPA controller driver issue is causing trouble, then this method will definitely help to fix DPC watchdog violation. First, you need to get to the Windows Startup settings in Windows Recovery Environment. Press and hold down the power button for 10 seconds to shut down your computer forcefully. At first, start your computer and be ready to press and hold down the power button to interrupt the boot sequence as soon as the Windows logo appears on your screen. Repeat these steps 3 times. After the third interruption, Windows should open Advanced Recovery Environment. Ok, once you enter in Windows Recovery Environment, click Troubleshoot, then Advanced option. Now, click on Startup Repair, then it will take you to Preparing Automatic Repair Log. If the Startup Repair fails to resolve the issue, then click Troubleshoot. Then Advanced option and then click Startup Settings and click Restart and please wait while your computer restarts. Once it restarts, you will see a screen with list of options. Now press 5 or F5 key on your keyboard to enable safe mode with networking. Keep patience, your system will reboot and it will boot into Windows safe mode with networking. Once you are able to boot Windows in safe mode, then go to device manager by right clicking on Windows start. Now, expand the IDE, ATA or ATAPA controller directory. After that, right click the SATA HCI controller and go to properties. Now, navigate to the driver tab and click on driver details. Now, you need to make sure that the chosen driver is IS store AC SYS. If here showing store HCI.SYS instead, then go back to the driver's tab and click on update driver. Now click on search automatically for drivers. If Windows unable to update the driver for your device, then you will need to manually download and install the ID, ATA or ATPA controller driver for your device from your manufacturer website.
after manually installing IDE, ATA or ATBA controller driver, hopefully your problem will be solved. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section. If the unsigned device driver is causing error, then this method will definitely help to fix the problem. First, restart your computer by pressing the power button and press F8 key while starting up your system. The key may be different in your case. It could be F5, F6, F7, F8 or F11. And at the same time, you may need to press and hold down the function key as well. After that, it will take you to the advanced boot option page. If it does not work, then try to get to the Windows recovery environment by following previous method. Ok, once you enter in Windows recovery environment, tap or click on troubleshoot. Then advanced option. Now click on startup settings. After that, click on register. Once it restarts, you will see a screen with list of options. Now press 7 or F7 key on the keyboard to temporarily disable the driver signature enforcement. Now keep patience, your system will reboot. First, go to Windows Search and search for Sys Internals Utility Index and press enter. Now click on the first link, then Windows will open Sys Internals Utility Index official website. Next scroll down and click on Auto Runs. This is an advanced program to show you the full list of registry file location where application can configure auto search settings. Now, Click download auto runs and auto runs to download the sys internals auto runs utility. After downloading extract the auto runs.zip file. Now open the folder that you got after extract it. Now double click on autoruns.exe file and it will show you the currently configured auto start applications as well as the full list of registry and file system location available for auto start configuration. Ok as you can see it options menu includes several display filtering options. Now go to drivers tab it will automatically scan your computer for verified and non verified device drivers. Now you will need to delete the suspected unverified device driver that may be the reason behind this DBC watchdog violation error. Now restart your computer to check if the problem is fixed or not. And please don't forget to let me know in the comment section. This method will definitely help to fix DPC watchdog violation blue screen error without desktop access on Windows 10 and Windows 11. If the computer no longer start currently, you can use an advanced system feature such as system restore. System Restore allows you to undo changes without affecting your files to roll back the computer to a previous point in time when Windows was working correctly. However, let's take a closer look at the procedure. Press and hold down the power button for 10 seconds to shut down your computer forcefully. Now start your computer and be ready to press and hold down the power button to interrupt the boot sequence as soon as the windows logo appears on your screen. Repeat these steps 3 times. After the third interruption, windows should open advanced recovery environment. If this does not work, then you can use windows installation media. 
to open advanced recovery environment. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Now insert your Windows installation media to your computer's USB port and you will need to go your PC's BIOS settings or PC's boot manager to boot from your USB drive. Click the next button and click on repair your computer option from the bottom left corner. Now click on troubleshoot option and click system restore option. Now select your operating system. Click next button. Select the most recent restore point to resolve the blue screen error. Note, Windows every time creates a system restore point when Windows install an update driver or application. So you can use that system restore point to restore your Windows settings and fixing the system crashes. Now click on next. After that you will see the restore drive. Now click on finish. Now click on yes to confirm. Please keep patience until the restore process is finishes. Well, as you can see the message, system restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to date. Your documents have not been affected. Click on restart button to restart your system. Ok, as you can see, the Windows 11 blue screen of that issue is fixed. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.